Okay, let me share my screen so you can see the problem. In this video, we're going to talk about um, product and factors of the given equations. The equations are given on the box, and to do the product, all we're doing is combining like terms and writing the trinomial. Those are called product. So I'll do the product, which is the easier version. Factor might take a little time. So let's do the product first. So I cannot combine 2x squared, so I just keep that. Combine the two middle term because 5x and 4x can get combined. And this becomes a 9x. And 10 doesn't get combined, so 10 will stay. Now to find the factors, you can still use the box and figure out the factors. Um, the factors of 2x squared, you can only multiply to get 2x squared is 2x times x. That, get, that is the only way to get 2x squared. So I'm going to put a 2x here and an x here. So when you multiply these two, you get this first box filled in. Now, 2x times what number will get you 4x? So 2x times what would you multiply? You can get 4x. Well, that has to be 2 because 2 times 2 is 4. So I'm going to write this somewhere else because there is no room given. So this will become um, 2. So 2x times x was 2x squared. And 2x times 2 is 4x. Now, I need to get the 5x. So what should I put here that when I multiply this number times x, I will get 5x. So something multiplied to x will get me 5x. That has to be a 5. So this is a 5. Let me get rid of the box. Um, 5. Because x is already sitting on the top. So 5x. 5 times 2 should get you 10. So that's definitely working. Now all you need to do is, since these both are positive number, you just put a plus sign plus sign, and just write it out as a factor form. Factor forms will have brackets, and you will have a term inside as a binomial. So this is 2x plus 5, just reading it downwards. And then I'll read this one going that way. So that would be x plus 2. Now, does it really matter which bracket you write first? It does not matter, because they're just getting multiplied. Multiplication, you can write it in, um, in either form, x plus 2 times 2x plus 5, or the first way, which I have already written. So this or that, either one could be your answer. So let's illustrate that one more time on the next problem. Uh, actually, let's do the one with the negative. So here, I have an x squared. So that would be the only two number you can multiply and get x squared is x times x. So x times x is x squared, and I'm still working on the factor this time because I think product is easy. It's not that hard, but right? I'll finish that part. Um, x times x is going to get you x squared. Okay, now x times what number will get you negative 4x? Well, that has to be a negative 4. x times negative 4 should get you negative 4x. That has to be a negative 4. Now I need to get a 4x, so what number should I put here? that you multiply with x and you will get 4x. So that has to be a 4 because 4 times x can get you 4x. And then 4 times negative 4 will get you negative 16. So therefore, the factored form is now going to look like x minus 4, the one from the top, and x plus 4 from the side. So this is the top and this is the side. This one, I can just put the positive sign in because you can't put both of them together. They are terms, so I had to put a plus sign and there is no sign given. Now for the middle one here, these two are supposed to add together and they go away and you only have x squared minus 16. Okay, I'll do one more. This is the last one. 
So if I need to do the product, just define like terms. Copy this, copy that, combine these. 4x, and I'm going to get 63 for the last one, the middle one. 36 plus 7, that is a 43x. Just combining the leading coefficients. Um, now, what do I get for the factor? Factor will be, how do I get 4x square? Well, 4x times x is the only way to get 4x square, or I can have a 2x times 2x. That can also get me a 4x square. So now, I don't know which one I will be using, but for now, I'm going to start off with 4x and x. I don't know if it's going to work, but we will check. 4x times what number will get me 36? 4x times what number will get me 36x? So that would be, I think, 9. So 4x times 9 can get me 36x. Um, let's hope the other part also works. If it doesn't work, then I will have to go switch back to 2 and 2. But I will have to decide on that as soon as that 4x and x does not work. So I'm hoping it would work. So now, how do I get the 7x? x times 7 is 7x. So this number times that number should get you that. Kind of like that. Okay, let's erase those out. Um, so 7 times x is 7x. 7 times 9 is 63. I guess it works with the um, 4x and x. We do not need this one. Because I was going to try that next if the first way does not work. So it is working. 4x and x. 9 and 7. No sign, so just add in a plus and plus.